ocean and a Portland and the great big harbor and the great big world. There's so much fun, so many friends and things to discover. Waking with the sun, gotta get the job done. Oh, Theodore and Emily, Oda, Hank and George and the harbor master too. Hello. There he is again. You hear that? That's a ship coming into the big harbor. Yep, there he is. Oh, yeah, I can see him now. I can certainly hear him, too. Between you and me, he sounds like he's in a very grumpy mood. Goodness sake. That's making me grumpy, too. But not as grumpy as Theodore was just the other day. Did I ever tell you about Theodore and the grumpy garbage barge? No? Now, that was quite something. It was nighttime in the big harbor, and all the tugs were gathered round the great ocean dock. It was their favorite time of the day. Storytelling time. What did you do today, Fodak? asked Emily. Oh, I just inspected all the bell buoys to make sure they were in their proper places, Crown Foda. It wasn't very interesting. You got to visit lots of places around the harbor, smiled Theodore. I bet that was interesting. Well, said Fodak, smiling a little now. While I was out near the Sandy Cove, I did see a big school of fish. A fish school, said Hank. Were they learning how to swim? The other tugboats laughed. Hank, said George, a school of fish means a bunch of them swimming together. They're not really going to school. Oh, said Hank. Fodak smiled at Hank. Theodore, I almost forgot what an interesting day I really did have. But thanks to you, it seems much better now. Theodore smiled. But he was still a bit puzzled. How can I make a day better than it already is? He wondered to himself. Bright and early the next morning, Theodore set off for work. The sun was shining. The sea breeze was sweet and gentle. Oh, he felt happy. How's the weather up there, Benjamin? He said as he passed under the bridge. Hello, Theodore! Bellowed Benjamin. Blue Nose, the grand sailing ship, was out for her morning sail. Hello, Blue Nose, called Theodore. You sure look beautiful with your sails full of wind. Why, thank you, Theodore, replied Blue Nose with a smile in her voice. You really spread the sunshine around. Sometimes, thought Theodore, Blue Nose said funny-sounding things. But Theodore did feel like he had swallowed a big beam of sunshine. What a great day, he shouted. Now, Theodore's job that day was to move Guysboro. Guysboro is a garbage barge who lives near the junk dock. Hi, Guysboro, called Theodore, smiling his sunniest smile. I'm moving you today. How are you? Awful, grumbled Guysboro. Rather sink in a sludge pit. Now, Theodore knew that Guysboro could be a bit of a grump. But today, Guysboro seemed extra grumpy. Isn't it a nice day, Theodore said, trying to cheer Guysboro up. No, frowned Guysboro. It is not a nice day. In fact, it is extremely yucky. You're late, and I'm a lot of smelly, stinky garbage to move. I'm sorry I'm late, Guysboro, said Theodore. I was saying hello to everyone. Ah, oh, what's the use of saying hello, griped Guysboro, when you just have to say goodbye later? Well, Theodore tied his tow rope onto Guysboro and began to pull him to the garbage dump on the other side of the harbor. Theodore decided to tell Guysboro a joke to try and, you know, make him feel better. Guysboro, what did the big fish say to the little fish? You're rubbing my bumpers the wrong way, grunted Guysboro. No, that's not the answer, said Theodore. Look, it's a rotten day. I've a rotten job, and I'm in a rotten mood. So please, be quiet and do your rotten job. Well, it suddenly seemed to Theodore that the whole world was wearing a great big frown. Emily and George were just passing by with a big ship. They smiled and whistled to Theodore and Guysboro to say, Hello, nice to see you. Guys. Let out a foul, frowny sound with his whistle and said, Oh, no. Nice to leave you. Theodore's whistle said, Oh, it's a rotten day and I'm taking a grump to the dump. 
Well, they didn't sound happy to see us, said George. And his smile seemed to melt away, along with Emily's. As Theodore floated home, every little bit of him felt rotten, and everyone he met on the way got a frown. Well, you know, it was really amazing how that one little frown seemed to spread around the whole big harbor. From Theodore to the fairy twins to Blue Nose, even Bedford Bowie was frowning although it was hard to tell. That night, all the tugs were gathered round the great ocean dock for their usual storytelling. What did you do today, Theodore? asked Hank. Nothing, thundered Theodore. I had a rotten day. Oh, I had a rotten job, declared George. Rotten harbor, said Emily. Rotten dock, fumed Foduck. Oh, said Hank. The tugs all turned to their places at the dock. And that night, throughout the whole harbor, everything was grumpy and silent. Rotten good night, mumbled Theodore. The next morning, all the tugs were at work, moving ships from here to there, and they were all still in a very grumpy mood. As they made their way along, they snarled and snapped and hooted and honked their horns at each other, as if to say, it's a rotten day, so stay out of my rotten way. Theodore was moving Guysborough again, and he was in such a grumpy mood, he floated right out in front of George and Emily, who were moving a cargo ship. You're in my way, shouted Theodore. We were here first, growled George and Emily. Fodak and Hank floated by, pulling another ship. You're blocking the harbor, said Fodak. Am not, scowled Emily. The tugs all felt too rotten to be nice and move out of the way. Soon, everyone was in a great big snarling, snapping, hooting, honking traffic jam. Right in the middle of the big harbor. It was loud. The visiting ships couldn't believe it. I thought this was a friendly harbor, said one. It seems like a very grumpy place, said another. The grumpy sounds even made their way to the dispatcher who called the tugs on his special radio. I would like everyone to finish their work and report to me at once. The tugs knew right away by the sound of his voice that the dispatcher was upset. The tugs all lined up in front of the dispatcher at the Great Ocean Dock. I have never heard tugboats act so badly, said the dispatcher. Can someone please tell me what is going on? I guess, replied Emily, we're just in a grumpy mood. But why is everyone so grumpy? asked the dispatcher. Well, to tell you the truth, no one really knew why they were in such a grumpy mood. Finally, Emily said, we just are. Well, said the dispatcher, perhaps you're not getting enough sleep. From now on, until you are in a better mood, there will be no more storytelling at night. And with that, the dispatcher turned away from the tugs. No more storytelling, gasped George. Oh, but that's our favorite part of the day, groaned Hank. Theodore was thinking, why are we all in such a grumpy mood? Oh, there must be something I can do. The next morning, Theodore set off to move Guysboro the garbage barge again. Theodore knew that Guysboro would be his usual grumpy self, and he found himself beginning to frown a little. Hello, Theodore. It was Blue Nose. Isn't it a nice day, she called. Not really, replied Theodore. It's kind of rotten. You're not spreading any sunshine today, said Blue Nose, surprised. That's funny. Suddenly I feel kind of... Grumpy myself. I was just going to go for a nice sail, but maybe I'll just stay home. As Theodore floated on toward Guysborough's dock, he thought about what Blue Nose said. Before, she said I spread sunshine around, and now I'm not. Does that mean I'm spreading grumpiness? I wonder. Can I really spread a little sunshine? His biggest, brightest, best smile and floated up to Guysboro. Hello, Guysboro, Theodore said. I'm going to be moving you again today. Horrible, mumbled 
gosh, bro. Brother, eat sea slugs. Theodore's smile slipped just a little, but then he hitched it up again and tied his tow rope onto the barge. Soon, Theodore was moving through the harbor with Guysboro. Nice day, isn't it? said Theodore. It'll probably rain, mumbled Guysboro. Good for the fish, said Theodore. Rain makes me rust, grumbled Guysboro. Theodore, this garbage is hot and heavy. Can you just stop talking and move me quicker? Well, Theodore had tried. Guysboro is a grump, he said to himself at last. And that's that. Theodore sighed, feeling the rottenness building up inside himself again, like hot steam. Okay, Guysboro, Theodore said. This is an especially heavy load of garbage today. And stinky, Guysboro said after a moment. Yes, very stinky, agreed Theodore. I think it might be the heaviest and stinkiest load of garbage I have ever had. It sure feels like it, said Theodore thoughtfully. This load of garbage is so heavy and stinky, you're probably the only barge in the whole harbor who could carry it. Hmm, said Kaisbro. I never thought about that before. I guess that's right. Well, uh, I guess that makes me kind of special. Doing a good job, added Theodore. And then, well, something almost magical happened. For the first time, Guysboro actually smiled. Just a little smile, mind you. But a real, actual smile. And wouldn't you know it, that smile seemed to hop right over to Theodore's face. Like magic. Now, they were both smiling. George and Emily floated past, pulling a big container ship. They still had long frowns, but when they saw Theodore and Guysboro smiling, they smiled too. Theodore slowed to let his friends pass him, whistled to them. Hello, nice to see you. Nice to see you too, they whistled back. Hank and Fodak passed by, moving a ship. And seeing George and Emily and Theodore smiling made them smile. And they whistled hello. Soon, it seemed Theodore's tiny little smile had grown and grown and spread and spread over the whole harbor just like a giant beam of sunshine. Well, just then, Blue Nose glided past. I decided to go for a sail after all, she called with a smile in her voice. It's such a, a nice day. Theodore looked around at all his friends, and it seemed there was only one thing to say. Uh, what a great day, he shouted. Yes, Theodore, it is a great day, added Guysboro, in a rotten sort of way. Theodore's sunny smile even made a grumpy old garbage barge. Well, not so grumpy. Oh, oh now there's that grumpy ship again. I'm just going to smile. And smile. Of course, that ship can't see me smiling at him from way up here. I know. If he can't see me being happy... Maybe he can hear me being happy. Thanks for visiting us here in the Big Harbor. We'll see you all again next time. So long. He's pretty good. Theodore. He's a tugboat and a friendly tugboat. A friendly tugboat. Oh, Theodore and Emily. Oh, the Hank and George and the Harbor Master, too.